Hi Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising, and welcome to your love reading. This is the Dream Medium. Welcome to my channel. So Scorpio, we're going to be looking into your love life, all right? Tell me about Scorpio's love life. Tell me about Scorpio's love life. All right, so you have the Nine of Cups here. Two of Swords. Tell me about Scorpio's love life. Tell me about Scorpio's love life. Wow. Four of Pentacles. The High Priestess. All right. Nine of Cups. Clarify the Nine of Cups. I usually have a love or hate relationship with the Nine of Cups, so let's get more info on this. Clarify the Nine, nine of Cups. Oops, oops, oops. Cards were dropping. All right, the Sun. Five of Cups, King of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. Clarify, oh, Ace of Swords, okay. All right. On the back, you have the Knight of Wands. All right, so pretty much what I'm seeing with the Nine of Cups being clarified by the Knight of Cups, I feel like um, I feel like this is them, Scorpio. But of course, feel free to reverse the role, all right? If you feel like this is you, then that's fine. Just apply it to your situation the way that it happened, if it is resonating. So with the Nine of Cups here, this is someone who is feeling um, quite confident, all right? Especially the fact that it's being paired with the Knight of Cups. They're very, they're very confident that they're going to get their way or get what it is that they want. In Clarity of the Nine of Cups we have the five of cups, all right? So they're trying to fix what was damaged from the past, all right? There, there's a lot of regrets here, but I'm kind of glad that this person is is no longer just, you know, isolating and crying over spilled milk and being stuck in their head. They're like, I have to come forward. I have to go towards Scorpio, you know, to fix this instead of just crying over the past mistakes between us. You have the sun here. I feel like they do have good intentions for you. I just feel like when they come in, Scorpio, you may just see them as like a player. You know, like I see you just being like, just you F boy, like just get away. You know, I kind of see you undermining them. Um, this is someone who does give me player vibes, to be honest. I feel like this is just someone who is, um, I'm imagining or I'm seeing them to be very polished, like the way that they carry themselves. They like to look put together. They like to look good. You could even be dealing with like a pretty boy, or if you're a male, you're dealing with a woman who is very good looking and knows it. Um, but I, I don't even feel like they're really as much of a, a player as you think they are i just feel like that's how they like to come off to protect themselves they like to act as if they do have options and yes they do but i don't feel like they really care for for their options you know like they know that there there are other people who are attracted to them and want them and, you know, that makes them confident, but I don't really see them giving too many people their attention. Um, but anyways, the sun card is here. Their intentions are good. I feel like with the sun, they do want to get to know you more. They want to grow closer to you. They want things to be just better between the two of you, all right? You even have them here as the king of pentacles, Scorpio, so they have a very valuable offer. This is someone who 
wants to give you abundance. The king of pentacles is abundance. He's the king of abundance. This is someone who is um, now very committal. Hint, hint the word now, okay? In the past, like I said, they like to come off as a player. They like to come off as someone who is just, you know, doesn't really like to take life seriously, doesn't like to commit. But all of that is, is a facade, to protect themselves. I feel like when it comes to you, they are this king of pentacles. It's like, really, it's only you that they would even be willing to settle down with. Um, so this is them here wanting to commit, wanting to, to give you something stable. You even have the six of pentacles, all right? So with the six of pentacles, they want to restore balance. They want to give themselves to you. I feel like this person was being very stingy in the past and they were not willing to give you anything. Like they wanted to keep their options open is what I'm seeing. Um, so, but now they want to come in and meet you halfway and do their part to balance the scale. You have the Ace of Swords here. They want to give you clarity, all right? I feel like they want to give you clarity about who they are because they were so focused on this facade and making you feel like, you know, they just didn't care about anything. And that's exactly what you took from it. But now it backfired. Now they're having to come in and show you who they really are. The Ace of Swords is all about clarity. Yeah, they're coming in. Look, Knight of Wands on the back, all right? It's like they want to show you a different side that they don't often show people. Clarify the Two of Swords. Ten of Swords. Clarify the Two of Swords. So the Two of Swords is, is all about decision making all right although this is someone who's having a hard time making a decision and i feel like it's you scorpio because i feel like um you know this person has had enough chances you know that they have really given you less than what you deserve and it's so disrespectful to you because you know how much you allow them to take advantage of you and i feel like that's what makes you so upset Tell me more about the Two of Swords. Yeah, Ten of Wands. Like you, even if you do want to give them a chance, you always, like you have, a, you have flashbacks about what they did to you in the past. So you're here with the Two of Swords, sort of, you know, head over, head over heart decision. Um, you figure, figuring out which way you need to go, all right? And clarity of the two of swords, you have the ten of swords. They did betray you. They made you feel so defeated. It's like this person took everything away from you. They were very reckless with your feelings, and you know it. On the back of the deck, you do have the lovers. And I feel like that's what your heart is telling you, that this person is your soulmate. But they have to change, and you're not obligated to wait on them. And even if you feel like they're the one for you, it doesn't mean that you have to be with them right now. This could be a soulmate journey. And I feel like you are far ahead and they need to, they need to stop rejecting their journey and go through their, their transformation too. So that's why it's so hard for you to move on because every time you do, you realize or you feel like this is your person. And hey, if you feel that way, the lovers here is saying, yes, there is significance. This connection holds significance. And remember, there are many kinds of soulmates that we will, we will encounter, right? The purpose of a soulmate is to teach us lessons. I always make sure that people understand that just because someone's your soulmate doesn't automatically mean that, that they are the one. It doesn't automatically mean that they are your life partner, it is possible, yes. It depends what kind of soulmate they are. But don't make that 
an excuse to justify how they treat you and don't make that make you feel obligated to put up with them because they really took advantage of you. Like they walked all over you and stabbed you in the back several times. In Clarity of the Two of Swords, you have the Eight of Wands. So this is happening quite quickly, all right? Um, they're coming in quite quickly. And it's going to make you kind of feel overwhelmed. It's going to make you feel like a hot mess because you are in decision mode right now. You haven't made an official decision, but you're thinking about what to do. And then them popping up, it's like, ugh. I can't even think straight. Now you're standing right in front of me or now you're texting me, texting me. Now you're calling me, you know, um, you have the page of wands that's here. This talks about communication, all right? Them communicating to you about this to, to try to resolve, bring about a resolution. You have the 10 of wands. I feel like the Ten of Wands is you, feeling so burdened. Clarify the Ten of Wands. Yeah, you're not coping with this well at all. Like everything is hitting you at once. You don't know what to do, Scorpio. And the Death card is saying, find a better coping mechanism because the way that you're coping right now is toxic. You could be thinking too much about this, jumping to conclusions, whatever it is that you're doing, stop it, right? Because it's only making it worse. It's only making things more complicated for you. You have the Four of Pentacles that was paired with the High Priestess. So the Four of Pentacles is typically, typically someone who's like holding back, right? Not wanting to share what they have, not wanting to share themselves, Clarify the Four of Pentacles. You have the Six of Swords. Clarify the Four of Pentacles. You have the Nine of Swords. <clears throat> Clarify the Four of Pentacles. You have the hangman. What's on the back of the deck? The empress, yeah. You're so torn, or you're going to be so torn, Scorpio. Um, with the high priestess here, I kind of feel like this is you actually ignoring your intuition, okay? Like I said earlier with the two of swords, it's like the mind versus the heart, all right? Even though you feel deep down this person may be the one, you're still trying to make the best decision for yourself and be more logical than emotional, I feel. So this is you pretty much not giving yourself. But I feel like your intuition is telling you to do otherwise. And it's almost like you are ignoring it to protect yourself. <clears throat> you have the nine of swords. You're having sleepless nights over this. You're so conflicted. And oftentimes that's what happens when it's a matter of, you know, mind over heart decision. Because if you, if you go with your mind your heart is still going to be calling out for that person and that's what's happening or very soon that's what is that what that is what's going to be happening you have um the hangman here right you're stuck you're not taking action i feel like people are even wondering where in the world are you like where scorpio we haven't seen or heard from scorpio you're just in your own little bubble you know not wanting to give anymore. And a lot of you are doing that because you feel like they don't deserve you. And that's absolutely fine. You know, I'm sure you have really good reasons. I'm sure they have given you a reason to feel that way. 
You have the Six of Swords. Let's see. Clarify the Six of Swords. King of Swords. Yeah, they want, they're going to... The thing is, they're going to keep on trying and trying with you, Scorpio, because they want to continue this journey as painful as it has been. Yes, the damage has been done, but from their perspective, they want to move things towards calmer waters with you. They want to keep on continuing this. They're even here as the King of Swords. The good thing is, I feel like they're going to be very open and honest with you. Because the King of Swords isn't up for dishonesty, isn't up to play games. This is someone who also wants to be truthful. And it's like they want you to be truthful with your feelings too about them, you know? But it's ultimately up to you. All right? But this is what I'm seeing happening right now. For, for my other half of you, very soon this is going to happen, all right? It's going to vary for everyone since it's a general reading. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in a private reading from me, you're welcome to visit my website. The link is in the description box. Also, please like, comment, and subscribe to support my channel. Thank you guys so much, all right? And take care.